STAR stands for Stegostoma Tigrinum Augmentation and Recovery. And this is the first project of ReShark, the global initiative. This first project is focused on bringing Indo-Pacific leopard sharks back to places in their range where they have been disappeared or almost disappeared, starting with Raja Ampat, Indonesia. We started talking about eggs, and that's the great thing in public aquariums. We're doing some amazing work with a lot of the species that are now threatened and endangered. We do breeding for recovery and rescue programs with a variety of species. And it just so happens that over 20 years of working with zebra sharks, we've been breeding them all of this time. One might think it'd be pretty easy to take some eggs from aquariums and bring them to Raja Ampat and then let them go, right? Well, it's not as easy as one may think. We are now about two and a half years in of research, of government relations, of uh, veterinary research, of communications and, and public relations work, all of our different working groups working together toward this moment today where we finally got to move our first batch of eggs from Sydney, Australia, through Jakarta, to across from Jakarta all the way to Sarong, and then on a two and a half hour boat ride out here to where we are today in the Raja Ampat Research and Conservation Center to their new home. Kami mengambil peran serta bersama mitra Project Star untuk implementasi program konservasi hiu belimbing di Raja Ampat. Ini merupakan program konservasi hiu pertama kali di dunia yang menggunakan metode restocking dan kegiatan ini sejalan dengan tujuan uh, pembangunan uh, berkelanjutan uh, di Provinsi Papua Barat yang juga uh, mendukung peningkatan ekonomi masyarakat lewat uh, pariwisata berkelanjutan. The ability now for us to work conservation groups, local communities, local government, and the large public aquaria together in a coalition which has never really happened before. And the potential is really amazing. I mean, obviously we're gonna recover zebra sharks in Raja Empat, but this is just the start. I mean, the potential to do this with other endangered shark and ray species all around the world is immense, and we're really, really excited about that. Selamat datang dalam acara peluncuran proyek restocking hiu belimbing atau Project Star, upaya inovatif untuk pemulihan populasi hiu pertama di dunia melalui pendekatan translokasi dan restocking. They made it to customs and then the wheels fell off the wagon. <laughs> In a huge way. So the, the, the boxes are not in cargo yet and they still come off pretty confident they're not going to move tonight. Um, That's so, okay, so I should book a hotel. Should book a hotel okay. And she's asking about whether or not you would like to go to the Jakarta Aquarium tonight to help with the unpacking. Yeah, we'd have to. Yeah. Okay. We need okay. to check them. Check. Okay. It's been a roller coasters of emotion and it was mainly not knowing the process how to get it, get the eggs out of the cargo area and they told us at like 11 p.m. that, you know, relocating it is possible. So my only worry was that it's gonna get too heated up in the box. So what we're doing right now is doing our pre-pack prep work for the boxes because there's a lot that goes into getting the boxes all ready to give um, our eggs a smooth ride. So we're just getting all the dry stuff started and as soon as customs comes to clear our eggs, then we'll go with the wet side of the work and start packing eggs and water. It's a beautiful egg. Uh, things so that we can keep the siphon as I fill the bags. No, keep the siphon going. Really tight against it. Again, at the very base so that you don't have an air boil. So the eggs are leaving to their final flight. It's with the cargo team now and I'm finally getting to rest. So let's hope they arrive to Sorrow safely. Oh, 
So then finally, on Tuesday, I get the message that says that Customs has finally cleared the eggs for their release and that they will be on the flight that night and arriving in Sarong on Wednesday morning. And we go over to the airport and we're standing outside of the quarantine door for what felt like hours. And then finally the blue doors open up and the boxes are there and I finally get to see them for the first time and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to touch them and then eventually I do I give them a hug because it's so wonderful to finally see the boxes but I still don't get to see the eggs because we take the boxes we load them into the trucks to bring them to the marina where we offload them from those cars onto our boat and onto a two and a half three hour boat ride off to the nursery. Everything from there went smoothly. We had all the shipments go right. We arrived every step of the way with the eggs and with the animals. And the moment that I saw the nursery in person for the first time, it was really emotional to know that the eggs were almost home. And we got the boxes off the boat into the nursery, popped open the boxes. And then Laura and Dolly and Orpa, our aquarists here at RARC, went to work to make sure that the animals inside the boxes were still doing well, testing their water and making sure that the animals were still alive and healthy. And I have to say that moment of seeing the eggs for the first time, it's kind of indescribable. You know, we've been working toward this for so long and to have them finally arrive here at their nursery safe was just incredible. What I'm doing is just making sure the yolk looks healthy because as long as the yolk is healthy and even though you're never going to see an embryo before about six weeks or so, five or six weeks, we've got a bit of time. The yolk looks very shiny and, and solid and okay so far. So basically we'll check it every few days. Being able to just approach this glorious place. I was meeting the people that I've heard about and talked about for two years. It was overwhelming, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's all inspiring. This place is so glorious. And I thought, man, we couldn't have picked a better spot <laughs> for these little eggs, for these little animals. Once they hatch, they're going to live here. They're going to be living in this little chunk of heaven on earth in perfect water and perfect conditions and be back where they belong. You know, be back where this species was meant to exist. We have full confidence that we're going to be rolling from this first species to other species in other parts of the world because zebra sharks aren't the only ones who need our help. Now I'm going to cry. Ha <laughs> ha